What a horrible game. Chelsea, minus 160. West Ham, plus 360. It's a London derby. They don't like each other. Plus 360 on the draw. I don't really fancy there's going to be a million goals. Under 3.25 is the dog. So they're saying there's going to be three and a half to four goals at plus 102. West Ham are plus 160 to score twice. Um, Brad, Chelsea, West Ham... Minus one at minus 102. If you think Chelsea are going to win the game, is that a free hit? Because I think if you go with Chelsea to win, you go with Chelsea to win and both teams to score because West Ham normally score home or away. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not sitting here and going to say minus one's a free hit on this match. I'm not even going to go as far to say that I want, I'm going to lean Chelsea to win in this. Um, this has one of those sick feelings where if it's 1-1 one, one late, you're going to be begging, absolutely begging for one of these teams to create and find a goal. <clears throat> but... I went double dipped in this match, and I'm going to start with the player prop first um, because that's the one I, I absolutely like the most. I went with Cole Palmer, four plus shots. West Ham United, uh, bottom, a uh, top four. Is that, that they're not, it's not on target though, is it? That's anywhere. No, no, just four shots. And okay. I was going to take over one and a half shots on target, but it was only plus 115. And let me tell you why I like the shots here. West Ham United are the, allow the third most shots in the Premier League per match. Chelsea have Cole Palmer, who's leading the leading the team in shots, um, leading the sh team in shot creating actions. Enzo Fernandez might be out as well in matches where he plays without Enzo Fernandez. He shoots even more. Why? Because he drifts, not drifts. He slotted more into that middle position out instead of out on the wing, which sometimes he kind of floats to, which gives him more shots from the middle. If you look at his last matches where he start where he started in six shots, three shots, eight shots, eight shots, seven shots, four shots, four shots against um, Manchester City and six against Aston Villa. And mind you, I named a lot of matches. Home versus away, it yeah. doesn't matter. He is the creator of the engine in this match. In the reverse, he didn't play. And another reason why I like his shots, it also correlates to my second bet, which is leg one of my parlay, both teams to score, is because in this derby, West Ham and Chelsea always score. Both of them always score. Chelsea, especially this Chelsea team, are not great defensively. West Ham are going to use their pace on the break and find the back of the net. So even if this ends 1-1, you're not going to have this Chelsea team just sitting deep protecting a lead because they know they're going to have to find a second, which means Cole Palmer is going to have to be firing away. So, yes, I like both teams to score. That's leg one of my parlay as well. I double dipped in this match. Okay, so listen, my job is know your client, know your teammate, and I know... Marco here, you can't be going in anywhere near this game because <laughs> the, the, the home side you're not interested in at minus 160. What, the goals, maybe, but the numbers are 3.25. You've read me like a book, and I think you, your introduction to this game saying it's a horrible game is it's literally similar to what I've got down on my notes here. I, I, I didn't enjoy trying to analyse this match. I didn't enjoy trying to find something I really wanted to hang my hat on. Really, um, a lot of it is to do with Thursday night's match. Chelsea are playing Tottenham at Stamford Bridge. And there are reports suggesting that Chelsea are missing up to 14 players going into that game. So I would find it very difficult to be betting for or against Chelsea without seeing the damage or, or seeing the team sheet ahead of the game against Tottenham to see what sort of shape they are in. Because obviously it's a quick turnaround then to Sunday. Uh, then you've got West Ham, who I think are, are very difficult to read at the best of times. The no-show they put in against Palace... Uh, a fortnight ago, but then they put a bit of a reaction against Liverpool last time out. Uh, both sides are hemorrhaging goals defensively, but uh, I think Chelsea do look a little bit short considering the injury issues, but I have no faith in West Ham either at the minute. So in reality, it's a, it's a big pass from me, but I'd be more interested in a betting proposition once seeing the team sheet tonight to see what sort of state Chelsea really are in. I thought draw half-time was the way to go because it's a London derby. And the one thing you can normally... Uh label at West Ham is that they're going, to, they're going to be tight and competitive early. Chelsea, they sort of play with their food, to be honest. Um, I mean, you say that Chelsea could have 16 players out. That just leaves them with like 245 in their squad. <laughs> um, it's unbelievable. that I, I, And the other thing is I wrote here, how full is the petrol tank? Because they've had deep, deep runs in com uh, cup competitions. They've it's been a long season for them because a lot of the players have played a lot of games. Not good games, but they've played in the games. Uh, a lot of them are coming back from injuries, so how fit are they? I just I just thought this was a really tight game. Maybe draw half-time is a way to go and just 
the, the goals are at 3.25. I'm thinking it, maybe the under is the only way to do it. Yeah, and the draw. The draw could well be, and could be a nil-nil, and it could be one of those where people look back and go, they wasted their time even going to it. Let's have a little look at the official picks, because it's Cole Palmer over 3.5 shots, and that's not on target, that's anywhere. So he could hit the uh, the pie seller four times, and you're going to get paid both teams to score uh, parlay. So basically, Cole Palmer over 3.5 shots on uh, anywhere, and both teams to score in a parlay, and we'll get the price of that when we do the best bets. 